Nokia is Nokia is Nokia is everywhere. How many phones do you expect a brand to launch at MWC? One, maybe two. Heck, if you're gonna go all out, maybe stretch it to three. Well, not if you're Nokia. HMD Global have taken the wraps of their early 2018 lineup at MWC and they range from the feature phone to the flagship. Five freaking phones. Now that's a lot to cover, so let's not waste any more time. My name's Ash, you've been watching C4E Tech. And before we begin, here's a card to a latest giveaway. I'll also leave a link to that in the description below. And while you're down there, do click that bell icon to not miss out on any of our MWC coverage. Well, let's begin with the feature phone, shall we? This is the reboot of the classic Nokia 8110, or as it was more commonly known, the Matrix phone. If there are any of you Neo fans out there, you know what I'm talking about. This reimagining of the classic banana phone includes 4G Volti and it also happens to run on Kai OS. If that sounded familiar to you, probably because the Geo phone also runs on the same OS. But this time, you also get access to the Kai OS App Store. Well, the selection is quite sparse. There are the basic essentials like Facebook and WhatsApp and Nokia seem to be on talks with Google to port the Google Assistant over as well. If they can do it for the Geo phone, I'm pretty sure they can do it for this one as well. Now at 79 euros or $97, this is an expensive feature phone, but Nokia is banking on brand name and phone memories of the sliding keypad cover to ship units. Now converted to Indian currency, it stands at a shade over the 6,000 rupee mark. And at that price, I don't see why anyone would buy it given that there are decent Android offerings available. So what do you guys think? Want me to pick one up for old time's sake, play around with it for old time's sake? There's not much else. Well, here's a poll. Let us know what you want. Let's now transition to a device that's a tad bit more interesting. The Nokia one priced at just $85 or around 5,500 Indian rupees. This is the first Android Go handset from Google. Internally, it looks like this phone belongs to the early 2013, 2014. Well, there's 8 GB of inbuilt storage coupled with one whole gigabyte of RAM. Well, a 1.1 gigahertz quad core MediaTek processor runs the show. You know what, I can't do this. Okay, powering through. The display is IPS, but the resolution is FWVGA. God, it's been so long since I uttered that. That's 480 by 854. I think the Galaxy freaking brand was the last time I saw a phone with that resolution. I might be wrong. It's spread across 4.5 uh, inches of screen real estate. I know some of you guys are thinking maybe I'm too harsh on this guy. After all, it's only been launched and Google's Android Go OS is supposed to be streamlined for phones that are like this. But I have my reservations basically because the Android One devices that came, I don't know, three, four years back, three years, I don't know, the first gen Micromax devices, I mean, they had a more powerful 1.3 gigahertz processor on paper at least. So, Anyway, let's wrap this one up with the rest of the specs. Five megapixel rear shooter, the camera reimagined, uh, with a two megapixel front camera, no AI capabilities, no portrait modes. It's got a mammoth 2150 milliamp hour battery to power it all. Let's just hope the plastic casing this comes with is indestructible, uh, you know, as indestructible as the Nokia phones of old, because let's be honest, if you're gonna use something like this, you are gonna throw it. Anyway, anyway, enough rubbing on the poor Nokia one. I mean, at least it has an ambient light sensor and like, <coughs> I mean, not really talking about any phone, I'm just saying. Let's now move on to the Nokia 62018. Wait, why does that feel familiar? Dude, we have, we covered it already. Why do you have it on the script? Okay. Uh, so this is something that Nokia unveiled, unveiled, let's, play fast and loose with that term uh, at MWC yesterday, but we've already covered it because they did launch it in China earlier alongside the Nokia 7. No, not alongside the Nokia 7, whatever. They launched it already. We have an unboxing and a review. Here, this points to a playlist that I should create 
If it's not there, it means I forgot. I will, I will add it. So if you want more information, check that out. We've got more phones to cover, so I'm not gonna spend time on this one. Let's move on to the next one right now. I'm waiting for the teleprompter to catch up because there's so much of that script. It's just scrolling, it's just scrolling. Okay, here's a verdict summed up in one line. If you don't wanna do the entire playlist clicking thing, decent phone, but at what price? That's how we sum it up. That's because the pricing is kind of bonkers. I mean, not really bonkers, but depends on what price it launches in India. Fingers crossed it launches in India and then we'd be able to tell you guys about the Indian price. For now, okay, here's where the pricing is bonkers. In Europe, it's going on sale for 279 euros. You know, that translates to, or rather converts to 23,000 Indian rupees. Anyway, next up, we've got the Nokia 7 Plus. Finally, a phone that I'm actually excited for. Sundar tested out the Nokia 7 a while back here on C4 Retech, and while he went in with reservations, he came out impressed. The Nokia 7 Plus looks to build on that while giving the design of the phone itself a fresh makeover. The front now sports a six inch Full HD Plus display with the 18 by nine aspect ratio. Towards the back, we have series 6000 aluminum and that has been coated with six layers of ceramic paint. Looks quite nice. Internally, it sports a Snapdragon 660 with four gigs of RAM coupled with 64 gigs of onboard storage. Powering all this, powerful hardware is a mammoth 3800 mAh battery. There's also a dual camera configuration to the back with Zeiss optics and that's two, uh, I mean one 12 megapixel and a 13 megapixel snapper, the latter is the telephoto lens. To the front, we've got a 16 megapixel front facing selfie shooter. Uh, the rear camera also features a fully kitted out pro mode and overall the Nokia 7 Plus looks like a very compelling package. We don't have the Indian prices or availability, but the European price is 399 euros, which translates to about 31.8 Indian, 38, 31.8 thousand. <sighs> I'm sorry around 32,000 Indian rupees. I doubt that Nokia would price it in that segment if it does come to India since the Nokia 8 is already selling for 29,000 rupees and that's got an 835, you know, eight series versus six series and all that. The Nokia 7 will be available come April and is one of the most expensive Android one phones till date. Speaking of expensive Android One devices, Nokia also unveiled their latest Nokia 8 Sirocco, a flagship level performer under the Android One banner. At this point, I don't even know if Google or HMD Global or anybody for that matter have any idea of what the Android One lineup represents. I mean, this is more like a Google Play edition. The Android One was supposed to be affordable mid-rangers with fast Android updates that's controlled to an extent by Google. Now, we don't know who controls the updates. We don't know, I and mean, we know it's not just affordable phones. And we know you can launch, okay, let's get to that later. Anyway, uh, this phone is again crafted out of metal with an aluminum shell that is encased by Gorilla Glass 5. The screen of the Nokia 8 Sirocco is gorgeous and it curves around the edges melting into the metal sides much like the ones we find in the recent S and Note lineup of Samsung devices. This display is a 5.5 inch OLED panel. Interestingly, Nokia has decided to stick with the 16 by 9 aspect ratio here. Internally, we have yesteryear's flagship, the Snapdragon 835 running the show with six gigs of RAM and a whopping 128 gigs of onboard storage. As far as battery goes, we have a 30 to 60 milliamp hour battery on this one. And the glass back means that the new Nokia 8 supports Qi wireless charging. Finally, coming to the cameras, we've got a 12 plus 13 megapixel combo here. And although on paper, it looks mighty similar to the one on the Nokia 7 Plus, we can't really confirm that at this point. The primary snapper is a f1.7 1.4 micron pixel sized unit while the secondary shooter with a telephoto lens sports a smaller pixel size of 1 micron with a smaller f2.6 aperture. This rear camera duo also sports a dual LED flash and includes a pro mode for those who'd like to tinker around. The French selfie shooter is capped at 5 megapixels. Uh, the Nokia 8 Sirocco is available starting at 749 euros or nearly a staggering 60,000 Indian rupees. You want the dollars? Okay, that's $920. Meaning, it's priced higher than the Galaxy S9. Okay, that's nothing for me to follow that up with. No more opinions, nothing more to say. 
just gonna leave it at that. Now, all of these devices except, well, the feature phone, the uh, 8110 4G, all these are running on Android 8.0 Oreo and the Nokia 7 Plus and the Nokia 8 Sirocco are Android One devices as well. Nokia has also mentioned that all existing phones, the Nokia 3, 5, 6, 7 and 8 will come under the Android One program, meaning faster updates. Now, given that Nokia under HMD Global has already been one of the fastest OEMs to update their phones, this is a wonderful thing. This is probably the best thing that Nokia said this time. I mean, probably the thing I really like about their uh, unveiling an MWC. So that about wraps it up for this one. Which of these five phones do you like the best? Would you like to pay 60,000 rupees and buy a Nokia 8 Sirocco instead of a Galaxy S9? Would you like to get your hands on any one of these phones? Tell us all about it in the comments below. And if you hit the snark that you came across in this video, go ahead, vote it down. But if you did like it, give this video a thumbs up, drop us a giant like, which also happens to be a thumbs up. And I don't know why I said it twice, so I'll also Add to it by saying subscribe to C4E Tech if you haven't yet. And if you've already subscribed, then what do you do? Share this video, hit that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our MWC coverage. Share this video. This here is our share this video. I gotta see if Sundar broke anything new over at Barcelona. Share this video. You guys have a great day. Share this video. Bye bye now.